Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is a general and timeless reading. It's not a personal reading, so just take what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, you could go to 144bluerosetemple.com. And thank you for all of your love and all of your support. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on that notification bell and the like button so you can know when the next reading does come out. Just a reminder that we do have a combo ceremony on May 25th. It is a Saturday on a farm in Chaplin, Connecticut. It's going to be with a medicine man that's from both Mexico and Peru. So feel free to join us. I'm going to be assisting. It's a lymphatic cleanse and there's a few other retreats and online workshops coming up. So feel free to join us. Thank you to everyone who joined the Quantum Money Reiki Healing yesterday. It was very beautiful. So thank you to everyone who joined. Now we are going to get in a reading for you today, Pisces. I'm seeing the color light blue. So what I'm also like seeing though is more of Mother Mary's coat. Okay, you know how Mother Mary would wear like that uh, light blue like coat or dress. And so Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, what do we have for the Pisces today for their highest good and for the highest good of all? What do we have for the Pisces? You have to tell the truth, eternal love, Aphrodite, and share your gift. All right. Why do we have tell the truth and eternal love Aphrodite? So there may be some sort of truth coming forward towards you Pisces at this time, like regarding love or romance. Doesn't have to be just like romantic. Why tell the truth and eternal love? You have the song of the siren, the call, summoning voice to acknowledge. Why tell the truth and eternal love? And then you have receive. It's a beautiful energy. You know, um, you can also be seeing hummingbirds because there's a hummingbird here. Then we do have on the bottom of the deck sacrifice. There are those that are worth making. There are those that will destroy you. This reading is getting kind of deep already. So let's get a few more cards. What do we have for Song of the Siren, Receive, Tell the Truth and Eternal Love, Angel of Strength, Temple Path. Why do we have Song of the Siren receive, tell the truth, and eternal love? And then you have the door to personal healing and happiness. It leads to you receiving, and it leads to the door of value. Okay, so there's some sort of hard truth, angel of strength over here when it comes to a love situation. But something very beautiful comes out of this. And so it's almost like Pisces, you are going through some sort of love situation where there's a lot of truth that has come out. But I'm also seeing you on the other side of this door, okay? Now, Akashic Records have been coming up, and when I see these doors, you know, in the Akashic Records, you go through that door, and I'm seeing Akashic Records energy. Could be a little bit of the North Node of Fate, too. And I think this is more of a message, Pisces, that being strong leads to this. You do have the call, summoning voice to acknowledge, so there's some sort of truth to face when it comes to like your love life. Doesn't have to be just romance, could just be, you know, when it comes to people you love. But we have receive, allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give, and the door to personal healing and happiness, okay? Now let's see what this is for you, Pisces. Why do we have Song of the Siren, receive, tell the truth, and eternal love for Pisces? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There goes your energy, Pisces. What's Pisces energy in this reading? You're moving forward. Two of Wands over here. What's the Eight of Pentacles? What's the Star card? What's the King of Cups? You have Justice card, Ace of Pentacles, the Star card, King of Cups. This is deep healing here, okay? Five of Cups with the King of Cups. Why the Five of Cups with the King of Cups? Three of Swords. You have to move forward from what it feels like, Pisces, is there was some sort of connection here where there's things that you didn't see. Look at this Eight of Pentacles here. We have the Queen of Wands. You could be seeing sunflowers because the Queen of Wands has the sunflower. Eight of Pentacles. This is work being done or someone working on something. Overtell the truth. There were details that you did not see quite yet, Pisces, okay? What I'm seeing is like some sort of love situation where maybe you jumped in. There were things that you didn't quite see. 
When it comes to the star card and the fool's journey, which if you would like to learn how to read tarot, you can feel free to take our sacred tarot course. It's the 22 major arcanas and I did create a downloadable PDF journal for you to journal each of the cards as we uh, go through the course. And so feel free to join us there as well. The box is going to be below if you would like to learn how to read tarot or just take the fool's journey again. Um, but with the star card, star card is a lot of hope. It's faith. It's, it's great. But behind the star card, there's more than what meets the eye, you know? Um, and so the star card also represents like a lot of light, but there's that other reflection, right? We did have that full moon in Scorpio, which Pisces gets of Scorpio, five of cups, three of swords. Um, whenever you're watching this, it could be for you. But what's also coming through is that it's a little bit of that Scorpio energy of the death and rebirth, as well as that eighth house and the truth. Okay, with the star card, there were things it is that you didn't see. I do see you being very hopeful here. I even see you in really investing into someone. It turns into a heartbreak, three of swords. However, because I'm, I'm feeling you on the other side of this Pisces. So right now, you're probably like, you know, whatever you feel about this. I see an offer here. I see you being really sad about it too. And so it feels like there was some sort of offer that almost fell through. Okay, so if this is finances, it could be finances for you, matters that you love, right? We're in Taurus energy. Venus rules the things that you love, which just may not only be romantic. But what I am seeing is you working really hard on something. It not completely following through. You know, I'm going to see what this is. Now, what is this for Pisces? What is the other energy in this reading? Yeah, this was karmic. Okay, Capricorn energy. Why the devil card here? And then you have these two cards that fell out. Three of wands, also the knight of swords. And then the six of swords here. So it does feel like there was really fast movement, okay? And now, yeah, I love it. Page of swords with the hermit card here. Um, you're going within over here, Pisces. Devil card, ace of wands. This is something, again, that you really put your effort into you really put your all into this like as if it were like really divinely aligned and that's what i'm seeing ace of wands ace of pentacles you put your all into something here it didn't quite work out as you wanted it to with the three of swords it ended up in a heartbreak but i'm seeing the other side of how that liberates you to the door of personal healing and happiness I'm getting like this death and rebirth has liberated you. Why? You're in the two of wands energy. You're moving forward. All right. Uh, picking up the lessons learned from the last cycle, moving into the next cycle. Okay. So what didn't work out for you really worked out for you. There's this particular energy I'm getting from this page of swords and the hermit card. Can you please confirm divine mother and father, the page of swords, the hermit card? Why the page of swords and the hermit card? What's coming through here too, Pisces, is people have really underestimated your ability to do things on your own. People have underestimated your ability to do things on your own. Okay, Page of Swords, Hermit card, Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. People don't know what you're up to, Pisces. And you're showing up as the queen of wands here. Being a little bit sneaky about it. It's the high priestess energy. High priest, high priestess energy. But it feels like you're also about to pop out, Pisces. You're about to pop out where like, people didn't realize that you were really working on things. Why the page of swords with the hermit? You were really working on things. You were really doing your work. You were really balancing things out. It just wasn't seen. You know, you were being sneaky or tactful or skillful about it, smart about it. And you show up as the Queen of Wands here. Now, what's this Three of Swords for Pisces? Yes, the Three of Swords is the fact that whatever this was, it didn't work out. And you are starting over a little bit here. But what that does is it liberates you, you know, in the sense that you have a lot of new opportunities coming in. Why the Two of Wands? You have no clue. You are about to see 
something you've never seen all right with the two of wands over here in the higher font i had a hop ceremony this morning so that's also why you can hear my nose um that spirit of tobacco but we have two of wands in the higher font here pisces didn't work out for you like it was great it does look great it looks like it was great ace of wands ace of pentacles it was not, though, the highest, and I mean the highest, the highest timeline. This is a little bit of an example where this may have been your will, 10-10. 10-10 as soon as I say that, and so this could have been something you really wanted, something, someone that you really loved, but it feels like it was not the highest. And what you don't see, right, you did have to start over a little bit here, but you don't see what's coming in, and what's coming in is bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's not an Ace of Pentacles. It's not an Ace of Wands. It's the Hierophant. Okay, why the Two of Wands and the Hierophant here? You are starting a brand new journey. You don't see it. We have the Two of Swords over here face down. Hey, man, you're shifting your perspective. Three of Wands over here. There's a lot of expansion happening in your life. Pisces. Yes, that didn't work out for you. It may have even been like a really good opportunity. But what you don't see is that what's coming in is higher. It's higher, truly. I'm hearing even the song Higher Love by Whitney Houston. Bring me a higher love. You know, and when it comes to whatever this is, again, it's higher. You do have the Fool card here, okay? Fool card. Hierophant. Two of Wands. For some of you, Whatever this was, it really like realigns and redirects your journey. Okay, why the Two of Wands, Hierophant, and the Fool card? You're about to see something you've never seen. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here. This whole wheel's about to turn for you, Pisces. And what I'm seeing, though, is it's like other people watching you like, uh-oh. You know, it's like maybe when you went through this, Pisces, people almost thought that you were like dead and under kind of thing. You know, it's like, oh. Pisces went down under. Pisces was not telling you that they were crawling back up. And that's what's coming through here. Um, Seven of Swords, Hermit card, Page of Swords. I see you like acting very carefully, skillfully, tactfully. Being very quiet about it. To yourself about it, the Hermit card. And there's this Page of Swords here. Okay. This leads to an even bigger opportunity. But in your life, you did need a little bit of that start over. Okay, maybe it's an inner start over. For some of you, I'm not getting that it's a without start over, which it may be. But for some of you, this is like an inner reset, an inner rebirth or start over. And with that, the whole wheel turns for you. Okay, you're showing up though as a hierophant, as a teacher. Um, hierophant is also initiator. Okay, why do we have the hierophant here? Why do we have the hierophant? What you didn't see, Pisces, Two of Swords, Five of Wands, is how this conflict led to like this spiritual upgrade, spiritual authority. I'm getting the Two of Swords here, clearing out a lot of the third eye, all right? And so I do feel like this is a very high vibrational reading, Pisces. Uh, why the Two of Swords with the Five of Wands? Why the Two of Swords with the Five of Wands? You're about to see something you've never seen all right with that nine of pentacles and judgment judgment has been declared and called there was conflict you passed that test hierophant is again like initiation type of energy you passed that test two of swords and i feel like you almost passed it blindly too 44 as soon as i say that so you can be saying 444 two of swords it's like oh I passed that test. Judgment has been declared on your life. Nine of pentacles. You're very stable, very appreciated, very supported, very resourced, and very abundant. Okay, and so what you don't see from this lesson, right, is the new is coming in. It was initiating you into new energy, into a new cycle. I see you passing this test here, Pisces, right? This is either a start over without of you or it's a start over within. And this whole wheel turns for you, all right? Now, what's the advice for Pisces? For some of you, I see you traveling. Three of Wands with the Six of Swords. These are two heavy travel cards. 
moving space. You know, um, what I'm also though seeing is again, like in your life, you've made room. Okay. Um, and if we see this through the eyes of alchemy, right? Two of swords, it's almost like the divine death card over here. Wanted you to shift your perspective about this situation as you do. Again, there's this like liberated energy. So as you do, as you fully release the old, there's a lot of expansion that comes in your life. Why the three of wands and six of swords for advice? You do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius over here, okay? You do have the Ten of Swords. Um, so this could, you could be showing up as Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or there's even some like sort of travel with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I will see what card that was. You do have the Lovers over here. You have the Angel of Strength, okay? So this could also be like a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that's in your life. Um, what's the closing energy for Pisces? You have a two of cups energy. Okay, Pisces. Now you do have the eight of cups. I do feel like you walked away maybe from someone. Why the two of cups here? Why two of cups with the knight of pentacles? There's someone slowly making their way towards you. That's what's coming through here, Pisces. Someone may even be traveling to see you. Two of cups, knight of pentacles, queen of cups. You also don't see, right, Pisces, that someone is coming towards you. Or, or they're thinking or wanting to make their way towards you which again knight of pentacles is a slow moving energy so there is someone coming in um but that's what i have for you pisces i hope that this resonates we do end off with the card victory the six of wands over here what do we have as advice for pisces for this reading you do have anxiety okay we have fifth chakra archangel gabriel so there could have been anxiety about a conversation or speaking this truth what else do we have for the pisces today be flexible. Fresh start. See, you do have a fresh start. So it's shifting your perspective of seeing this as a fresh start. Everything happens for a reason. There are many options out there. Perfection is an illusion. And look at this. You can move forward even while going against the current. Particularity will divert you from your destination. Yes. Okay. So I love this advice because it's also saying maybe there's something also with like the eye or the right eye um odin and horus come to mind but what this is saying pisces is like maybe it wasn't that thing but don't like you're prolonging those blessings coming in if you're holding on to it like no it had to be that person it had to be that thing it had to be that way um be flexible because the divine i see the divine blessing you i see you being a magnet for blessings for abundance attraction of all things in your life but don't harness too much because I do see you five of cups the grieving sad that that didn't work out um perfection's an illusion and uh there's many options out there is what's coming through okay so infinite consciousness that it maybe wasn't that person but there's a lot of other people it can be and maybe it wasn't that thing right maybe that thing didn't work out for you there's something else coming in that's actually going to work out even greater, even higher, you know, or there's someone coming in that's higher. All right. Uh, I'm going to grab two more cards. What else do we have for Pisces? Yeah, you do have freedom here. Forcing change with the experiments. Okay. And then 33 over here. So what's also coming through to Pisces is like not to force anything. And this is like a different kind of energy with like which like isn't really your energy usually pisces keep going yes the mirror know thyself self-examination seeing who you really are so what's also coming through pisces is don't force anything to happen we have the card keep going that came out over here everything's going to work out for you pisces but there is some part which it could be you could be the other person i'm hoping this is not you pisces but there's some sort of like energy here of like no it has to be that way or it has to be that person and it does not so i don't usually pick up on like that energy pisces like i get anxiety five of cups like someone doesn't want to let go keep going keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming 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 what is that? Dory? I love Dory. I feel like Dory is my spirit animal from Nemo. Um, if this is you, Pisces, let go of like that person, that thing, that whatever it is. Okay? Because it's not, 
And not that it's not for you. It's already yours, right? I've been saying, own it, it's yours. Own it, it's yours. And it's a joke because it's a song, but own it. I'll own all the shadows. Own everything it is that you need to own. Infinite consciousness, it is all already yours. What I'm getting is an energy here, Pisces, of someone that like almost doesn't want to accept of like, that's not yours, you know? Um, like an anxiety, like someone really is having a hard time here letting go allow that death process allow like yourself to just fully just you know like let go um i'm gonna grab from the isis deck actually it's right here what do we have as a closing message for pisces we do have talesmen of potency divine guardian protection of the winged mother charging sacred objects of power all right pisces so what's also coming through here is you could really benefit from not only like maybe the cleansing um, but also maybe like wearing necklaces, maybe it's wearing black tourmaline, etc. I do see like a lot of energy here and, um, yeah, I see a lot of energy here. And so sacred talismans can benefit you at this time. I'm also seeing the knot of Isis. Um, for some of you, the onk is also very protective for you or to you. And so maybe wearing the onk, I'm seeing you like even drawing onk symbols. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. We do have truth unveiled over here. Okay. So there's definitely some truths that are coming through in your life, Pisces. I'm going to grab one more message. Yeah, and I don't usually pick up on that energy, Pisces. So I'm hoping that this is not you. If it is you, 2112. Also, have compassion. Have love for yourself. Like it says, uh, perfection is an illusion. You know, I'm seeing a big purge. Again, it was the full moon in Scorpio, but I'm seeing like someone crying and almost like angry, upset, not wanting to let go of someone or something. But Osiris is coming through heavy. Um, which again, like Osiris is the Lord of the underworld, though I don't like when people say that because he's also like the supreme soul, you know, so Asar or Osiris to me is not just the Lord of the underworld. 144, as soon as I say that, um, he's so light, but he's coming through Osiris because it's, um, again, like that person, the place, like whatever that it was, there's a, a fully releasing of it and it truly will liberate you Things are going to work out. They are going to work out. But there's some sort of acceptance of letting it be released. Um, because what I'm seeing here is someone who's having a hard time releasing. Or if it comes to you, Pisces, what's also coming through, it's either one. So Pisces, if you're, um, Pisces is emotional, right? Which is your superpower, Pisces, right? Um, however, for some of you, this could be someone else because it's also saying charging sacred objects of power, talesmen of potency. 33, as soon as I say that, which is like, you know, wearing the crystals, wearing the talesmen, etc., protecting your energy. What's coming through here, Pisces, too, is there's someone maybe from a distance from you, 444, as soon as I say that, that is like having a hard time in distance from you. They, but it's to the point where you do have to protect your energy because they are like, I'm seeing just crying, anxiety, like panic attacks kind of energy because they've lost control over you. All right. And keep going. Keep going over here. But that's what I'm seeing, you know, so just benefit you maybe right now to protect your energy a little bit extra. I'm just seeing you maybe absorbing someone else's energy, you know, and then if this is you, Pisces, you're being asked to release. What are two final messages for Pisces? High vibration. We do have prophecy over here. All right. So it does feel like, again, um, this connection, right? This person or whatever that this was for you, Pisces, it's fully allowing that to be released and to let go with these sacred dreams, prophecies over here. You do also have mindfulness, high vibration, power of the mind. Again, nothing can be taken from you. So say this represents a person from you. Say maybe it's a project, an idea, maybe it's career, etc. Nothing can be taken from you. And the letting go that, again, Osiris energy, death and rebirth is a natural process. So what's coming through here, Pisces, honestly, something aligned with life purpose comes in. You show up as the Hierophant after all this. So like you're also getting an upgrade, whether this is spiritually or like in this realm, you're getting upgraded financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. You are. It's just not in that way. And so that there's like this acceptance of it's not that, but you still are. 
all right you're no separate from those beautiful blessings and so it will come in a higher form i've been saying that bring me a higher love bring me a higher whatever it is whatever you release shall always always return back to you in a higher form so feel what you feel yes but high vibration mindfulness power of the mind there's some sort of self-awareness or uh, seeing above this situation because you have something very very beautiful coming in for you i'm going to grab just one love message over here and that's it again if you'd like a personal reading one-on-one -on -one personal session or kashik records you could go to 144 blue rose temple.com but we have what a pisces that went all the way under the um couch and then i found it underneath the couch but it really really resonates okay are you feeling a little lost and confused wondering which direction if any to take and questioning what is it that you really want from life perhaps it's time to consult your inner child you know the one that you've kept locked away for ages the one who holds the essence of the real you isn't it time to listen to your heart and so that's what this feels like that is what this feels like pisces because what would a child do when you take their toy from them scream and shout and tantrum which again it's honoring that inner child um, there's something here about being flexible not only of how you get there but also of how you feel a lot of inner child healing i feel like this is like maybe bringing a lot of that up you know so it's a beautiful message too um pisces and it's funny how you know it went under the couch right um i feel like it's like you searching for answers and it's saying are you feeling a little lost and confused and I had to go digging under that couch to get this answer. And so that's what's coming through for you too, is you're kind of digging for answers and that it's okay to feel lost and confused right now. One, 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 as soon as I say that and that things will shift through you. Cause look at this, that was like that. A beautiful inspired idea floats through pathways of light, waiting for the right moment to enter your mind and your heart. Ooh, Pisces, isn't it time to listen to your heart? When that heart opens and when that inner child remembers, right? Um, remembers the joy, the, the love, the innocence of life, right? So seeing life through the eyes of a child, even regarding the situation, as you do that, as you open the heart, there's an idea that comes in. One, four, four, as soon as I say that, this wonderful idea that stems from your soul will grow and blossom if you nurture it. Keep it safe within your inner world until it's ready to manifest in your outer world. A period of great fulfillment and accomplishment follows, okay? And so that is what I'm seeing here too, is like you really rebuilding, you know, of whatever that this is. And you have a great period of fulfillment and accomplishment. It says keep going, but do not try to control this ending over here, okay? That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.